cluster munitions are conventional weapons designed to disperse a number of smaller explosive devices over a wide area. They are used to attack large areas where troops may have concentrated, for example in a defensive position or where tanks and other military vehicles are grouped. They are seen as a cheaper and more effective way of destroying large numbers of enemy personnel and equipment than by using traditional artillery shells or precision guided munitions that might be preserved for more important targets such as headquarters locations or certain pieces of a kit that have to be directly attacked. Cluster munitions are normally housed in canisters carried or fired by aircraft or launched by ground-based artillery systems and they can be fired from ships. Each canister can contain hundreds of these smaller submunitions, which are often referred to as cluster bombs. Having released its load of submunitions, the canister then crashes into the ground. So even though the canister in and of itself does not contain any explosive charge, it still poses a threat to people and infrastructure on the ground. There have been many images from Ukraine of cluster munition canisters buried in roads, gardens, even children's playgrounds. There are two big issues with cluster munitions. First, by design, they spread submunitions over a large area, meaning they can, especially if used in built up areas, injure and kill non combatants who should be protected from harm even in wartime. Second, like any piece of equipment, there is a failure rate, meaning some cluster bombs will be left on the ground and could explode at any time, particularly if moved by civilians such as farmers working in their field or children eager to explore the curious objects left lying around. They can therefore pose a threat to civilians for years or even decades after any war has ended. Cluster munitions are prohibited for those nations that ratified the Convention on Cluster Munitions adopted in Dublin in May 2008. The convention entered into force and became binding international law in ratifying states in 2010. To date, over 100 countries have joined the convention, but that does not include Ukraine, Russia or the US.